911. What is your emergency? Yes, I just got a call from Douglas High School. Um, a female on the line advised me believe there's a shooter at the school. Okay, at Douglas High School in what city? Yes, in Parkland. Thanks, say my to be for Santa Fe High School. I need you to stay school shooting. They have an active shooter. Several people down. When Sandy Hook occurred in 2012, we could not believe that six educators and 20 children would be slaughtered. And we couldn't stand by and just say, well, we're really sorry. We wanted to do something for them, uh, literally. And so now, now that this is a national memorial, uh, their names will be permanently preserved here forever. We started doing the research and found out 113 names uh, starting all the way back in 1764 where educators had lost their lives doing what they loved doing, working with school children every day. When I heard about it, I cried is what I did because it just meant a lot to me personally uh, to have our teachers and, and our principal uh, acknowledged along with other uh, people who had been uh, killed or died in the, in the line of duty. They will now be permanently recognized and remembered for all time, just like veterans, just like firemen, just like policemen. In their final moments, Scott Beagle, Aaron Feist, and Chris Hickson all taught their students one final lesson in character and stand the shining examples of educators' dedication to their students. It's not just a matter of showing up, opening a book, and then going home. Um, they sometimes are literally first responders. Their life is on the line. And it's never in a contract that they sign with the district. No nowhere does it say, you may not come home at the end of the day. Chris Hickson, the athletic director and wrestling coach, he was shot while trying to move kids out of the way of the shooter before reportedly trying to disarm him. Knowing my brother and knowing his character, um, Nothing that he did surprises me. He didn't stand down. He, he, he stayed till the, to the end. Um, typical Chris Hickson style. Aaron Feist, a football coach and a security guard, was a proud graduate of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Feist died while selfishly draped himself over students, acting as a human shield, protecting them from harm, while taking the bullets himself. I mean, I, I heard that the last thing said on, that he said on the radio, he said, I'm going in. So he went in and then he tried to, he led, you know, kids out and, and then he was shot. I wasn't surprised in any way. That's Aaron, you know? Well, one of the ways he would inspire um, students and even teachers, you know, to get on about making change in their life is one thing he would say is, what are you doing today? I would like the, the teachers to remember each heart that they touch and um, each mind that they touch. It, it, it matters, but it doesn't, doesn't take you laying down your life like Aaron did to, to make a difference. As a fellow educator, um, this is remarkable. Um, but it, sadly, it really just sickens me to see 130 names on here. I greatly appreciate it. I know everyone in those books um, aren't all from gun violence, but sadly, a lot of them are. And that, those stories in particular need to be heard forever. Um, as far as my brother and his story, he's going to be remembered as a hero. And I just remember him as my big brother. <laughs>